Hey everybody, it's Nikki and welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna do something a little bit different. We're gonna keep it a little chill. I got a bunch of packages in the mail today. Lots of great stuff came out. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox a bunch of it. Okay, the first thing you wanna talk about, I don't have the box for because I actually picked it up at Walmart. Justice League, the movie released. I've already seen it in the theater. I may or may not do a movie review if you guys are interested in seeing that, but I, I know it's kind of like old news. Now, I know the DCEU gets a lot, a lot of flack. Was Justice League a perfect movie? No. Was Wonder Woman better? Yes. But was it enjoyable? I think so. And you know what? It made me really, really appreciate Ben Affleck as this older, world-weary sort of Batman. This is the movie that made me like him as Batman. So I really, really appreciated it. I thought it was really fun. Um, it's exactly what a summer blockbuster should have been. Do I find some issues with the movie? Absolutely. But do I think it was as awful as people make it out to be? No. And the cool thing about this is this is the Blu-ray release from Walmart. If you go in, I believe you can order it online. I will link it down below. It comes with this collector pin set here. As you can see, six pins, all of the Justice League members and their symbols here. And I had to have it. I'm a pin collector, so I love it. We have Superman and Batman and Wonder Woman. And then we have The Flash and Aquaman and Cyborg here on the end. So I thought that was really, really cool. Also, Best Buy does a special edition of their Blu-ray that has a Jim Lee cover to it. And then Target comes with a Justice League book. So if you guys are interested in any of those, I will link them down below, but uh, they all come with the Blu-ray edition. This is the Walmart one that I picked up today. The next package I have is from Amazon. I pre-ordered a couple of things and uh, they released today. So we're gonna go ahead and get this box open and see what's inside. Okay, the first thing inside is the book Obsidio by Jay Kristoff and Amy Kaufman. This is the third book in the Illuminae series. I absolutely adore this series. It's a young adult science fiction series that sort of takes place in space and it's just fantastic. And the thing that I think is amazing about this series is the way that they tell the story because it's not just like blocked text. The story is told through a series of reports and journal entries and just, it's so clever the way the book is written. So while it looks super thick, yes, all of them are, but it goes by really, really quickly. So here's just an example. You can see like maps and drawings, log files and notes, things that are redacted. It's just such a unique way of telling a story. And that is what makes this series so compelling. The characters are amazing. Each of the three books centers around a different subset of characters and they're all sort of intertwined in this world. So I am super excited to read this book. I, I adore it. And the cover, the artwork is just fantastic. So if you guys are interested in checking out the first books, uh, the first one is Illuminae and the second book is Gemina and then we have Obsidio. And then the other thing that came in the Amazon package is another book. This is A Conjuring of Light by V.E. Schwab. This is the Conjuring of Light series. This is the third and final book. I have already read this series. Again, it's like a young adult fantasy novel. It is so well crafted. It takes place in two alternate versions of London, which is amazing. So, well, I guess technically three. Spoiler? Maybe? Um, it's so good. The characters are amazing. You have a badass, strong female lead. I absolutely adore this series so much. I already own the first two in paperback and I wanted to just get the third one to complete the collection. And that is everything in the Amazon package. And here we have an exciting package from Funko. This is actually the first time I've actually ordered anything from Funko's website or the pop-up shop. So let's go ahead and see what we have. Okay, so this is an ECC release, Emerald City Comic Con. Did I say that right? ECCC. Yeah, Emerald City Comic Con release. I gotta be honest, I was not that impressed with the releases for Emerald City Comic Con. This is the Comic Con that takes place in Washington where Funko is based out of. Um, there weren't a ton that I just like loved and had to have. Of course, there was the green chrome Batman. I will put a photo up here so you guys can see that. That was exclusive to the con and to the Funko pop-up shop. 
as well as the flocked Bigfoot, which I will also put in here. And uh, I thought he was really, really neat. Just something different. I love the whole mythological thing and I hope they expand that line. But um, those are the two that I was mainly interested in. And obviously they were a very limited number of pieces. They were both exclusive to the con and they were both on the website and you know, they sold out in like six seconds flat. So I missed out on those and I sort of expected that it wasn't going to happen. And they were the two that I really, really wanted. But uh, when I did get on the Funko shop and tried to get the other two, there was something on there that caught my eye. And I thought, you know, if I'm going to get anything else, then this might work. It was sort of like an impulse buy. So here we are. But we have Ace and Crypto in Dorb's form, of course, Bat Dog and Super Dog. You can see the Emerald City Comic Con exclusive sticker here. This was $20 plus shipping, which isn't too terribly bad. I'm not the biggest fan of Dorb's, to be quite honest. I felt like it was a good add to the collection to kind of round it out, even if it's not a pop. They're supposed to be releasing Crypto as one of the specialty series dorbs, I want to say in June or sometime this summer, and I was not that impressed with the styling. I actually think the dorbs looked better, so that's kind of why I jumped on this. But yeah, we have our little Ace and Crypto dorbs here. And yeah, that's it. That is everything in this very short video, this little mini mail haul. Were you guys able to score any of the Emerald City Comic Con exclusives through any of the shared retailers or on the Funko site? Let me know in the comments below. If you guys like these kinds of videos and you wanna see more hauls and mail calls, then make sure you click the big thumbs up button. That'll let me know to do more on the channel. And don't forget to subscribe while you're at it. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you guys next time. Bye.